Lincoln. Where'd he go? There he is. <laughs> I'm over here. That's Jeremy. And uh, today we are playing. Actually, we're not playing what's broke. We are playing what's what's gonna get fixed because it was broke, I guess. It, it's on the verge of breaking completely. Yeah. So um, I have, I've got a major thing of death wobble. We found out that's the track bar and definitely the ball joints. The ball joints are just kind of a common thing to fix, especially when off roading. And so spacers. and yeah. So um, Steve, if you're watching this, I do run spacers. They've done great. Knock on wood up to this point. So anyway, we are uh, doing the one ton steering on this. Crossover. Here, you can take over. <laughs> okay, the one ton crossover from Steinjaeger, which is right over there. I have a Barnes 4x4 clamp for the stabilizer because we would have done this probably a week or so ago, but somebody didn't order it. So then, after ordering it, I didn't order the one with the bolt. So, with that being said, it's all here. We're putting it together right now. Yes, we. I am helping him. But I'm shooting this right now. But we're not even here to talk about my Jeep because somebody has done a lot of work to his Jeep and we will definitely go over that. This is definitely gonna be a two day video. So we're gonna cram a bunch of information into this single video. We're gonna do a, like I said, we're doing that. We're gonna do a full walk around on it. And tomorrow we're test and tuning at Redbird with his because he has some goodies that he installed and uh, we kind of want to do a shakedown before we go to a trip in October to Badlands. If you know, you know. If you don't, you should. And um, Jeremy here is still working on trying to get to go on that trip, but it's going to be a good time. So let's get to this. All right. Jeremy here managed to get the $36 Amazon ball joints thrown back in real quick uh and yes i mean real quick they popped out and they popped back in pretty simple but now we are getting ready to do the crossover and we're gonna have to drill this hole out on uh, both the knuckles and we're gonna have to drill that one out right there to uh five eighths because over here if you look these dudes are way bigger than what came in over here, little bitty guy. So uh, I think we're getting ready to start in on that project right now. So here we go. So this is the next day. Uh, didn't finish it up last night. Uh, the video that is. We did finish up the steering. Uh, it's kind of point and shoot. Every little bump, you're gonna have that wiggle, and that's which direction it wants to go. So that's my review of it. The one thing I'm super duper pumped about is the fact that the steering wheel is actually straight. I can see all the gauges. So. Um, we will be doing a walk around with Jeremy here in a minute, but he's going to air down and I'm going to top off some oil. All right, we're going to go over here and see if Jeremy is ready for his uh, cameo. What's up, everybody? Jeremy, 2006 Jeep Wrangler SE. It's not the six cylinder, it's the 2.4 power tech four cylinder. So I'm kind of the underdog of the bunch, but it does what I need it to do. Uh, I actually just done some modifications. I put an Aussie locker in the front end, and that's what we're testing out today. Uh, I put different springs all the way around it, and I gained an inch and a half, almost an inch and a half of lift. Uh, putting Z, V8 G, ZJ, ZJ springs. <laughs> yeah. springs in the front, and then uh, 
four-door JK Rubicon springs in the rear. So uh, another another modification, I put a hand throttle in it. It's, like, it's a six-speed manual. I do not have three feet if you work the pedals on a hill. You said you got what springs in there? Uh, Four-door JK Rubicon. All right, a little test and tune before October. Hopefully, he can go. I hope so. So, um, you know the drill on on mine. We're not here necessarily for about my Jeep, but obviously, I get some footage, you know. Obviously. But like I said, this thing is like I told them. I don't know if you heard. This thing's like point and shoot every little bump you hit it's like if you just bump it you're going that way yeah so um yep. being disconnected on the highway <laughs> not fun so but i was also aired down from our last trip i was also disconnected from our last trip because i'm lazy so we are uh we're gonna hopefully be behind these guys because the last time we were out here we had a dirt bike that was an asshole so Let's go. Yeah, Enough let's of this go. shit. Let's go.
came back here to v-notch because jeremy wants to test out his locker so this is all going to be familiar to you guys That was, that was nice compared to, I think the last time when I was editing this video, of the exact same location, I think I spent, I think there was like seven minutes of him doing that climb, and this time it was, I think he did it under 30, if not 45 seconds. So, what was your, uh, how was the uh, performance of it? How about awesome. that? Yeah. Clearance? Did you drag anywhere? I don't think so. I don't think I dragged it anywhere. Those bump stops. So you got the extended bump stops on there. Never once touched a fender. That was nice. Did you use that hand throttle? No. Well, I was going to say, I seen both hands on the steering wheel, so I didn't think that you did, but didn't know if maybe you were feeling froggy. No. Nope. I was going to use it whenever, if I had to stop and take off again, but I didn't have to stop and take off, so I didn't need to use it. Yeah.
come back here and almost hit everything that she has to offer back here in the corner. And uh, Jeremy came up here to their new deck that they've got right here. Let's see if you guys can see it here. And uh, he noticed that there's this little trail right here that leads you up to it. So he decided he wants to go down there and give it a shot. We did a little testing, we did a little tuning. Actually, we did zero tuning, but we did plenty of testing. And uh, Jeremy's rig is ready. There's nothing to adjust at all. Um, I mean, I I hope we can go up to Badlands and he can put it to the true test because out here is just a few climbs, and he did V-notch perfectly, uh, perfectly fine with no issues whatsoever. So now we are heading home and I am actually reconnected with the uh, the upgraded steering. So I'm gonna I'm gonna drive it home, I'll give you a review once I get there. So I just got off the highway and uh, this thing steers like a brand new Jeep. So I'm very pleased with it. Uh, I don't have 
crazy death wobble anymore, but I still have just a touch of death wobble. So uh, I'm thinking maybe it needs an alignment. Hopefully that'll get it. Uh, I'm sure that the tires are uh, more funny from you know, previous death wobble and all sorts of other stuff. So that could be a factor. And uh, Jeremy thinks that the stabilizer could be wore out just just the littlest bit. So I don't know. Uh, hopefully we get it dialed in all the way soon, and uh, this thing will be ready. I need. I definitely need to get a freaking locker because Jeremy flat out he climbed everything that was in front of that Jeep today. So. That's all I got for you guys, so thanks for uh, watching. I've been Lincoln. Y'all been great. Catch you on the next one.